Introducing my new professional yet budget-friendly heavy-duty travel tripod system designed it to fit in a regular size luggage without hassle. It has one-touch height adjustment, professional gray fruit head, just like satchelor at its only cost 499 US dollars. But don't buy it yet until you watch this in-depth unsponsored review. We will dive into potential drawbacks it may have when stacked against my other go-to tripods to ensure you are making the most informative decision. Stay tuned as I walk you through my modification, transforming it into the automatic compact system for VR 180 and 3D digital filmmaking. If you're looking for a professional build for immersive filmmaking on the Apple Vision Pro, this is also the video for you. Let's go. Hey, what's up everybody? Today we gonna talk about this system right here. This is actually my favorite new system. It's by UniZ, it's a professional tripod system right here. Uh, I've been using it in the past two weeks. It's very solid, fully carbon fiber built, pretty heavy, but it's professional tripod. So it can support the weight up to 10 kilogram right here. This is my Canon R5C dual fish on professional immersive camera setup right here, you see? Yeah, it's a fully 360 degree pan tilt system right here. Uh, and also, as you see right here, and also have the they call counterweight system, uh, very professional setup, right? You only see it in that very expensive professional tripod from uh, Satchelor. We have system like this. So depend on how fast I want to move the camera system out so you can adjust. Uh, but usually I look at, like make sure that uh, if you see right here, put the camera system right here. So yes, you see in my system right here, you see the tripod leg right here, because this lens is so wide, you can see 180 degree. In fact, it's actually 190 degree. So it's so wide, right? So I need to get a tripod leg out of the system. So we have to push it out around right here. So one thing I like about this tripod is this is right here. It's, they have this uh, called spreader right here. It's a middle column spreader. Uh, have an adjustable level right here. You can hit it right here. You can adjust the leg. Again, now it's, it's camera is right there, but I can like adjust like that, boom. So now, the system right here is more spread out on this leg, right here, right? So the system is gonna lean back, and now I can lower the system on the front. This is a uh, video fast travel system release system right here. It's actually like quick release, uh, just on the central system. Uh, again, handle right here, hold it right here, untie, untie, and just lower it kind of back to level, but now this leg will become vertical. See it right here. Uh, bubbler is right here, so pay attention. Bubbler right here, can't get kind of level. You need to be two level, kind of level is good enough. So now, if you go ahead right here, pay attention to leveler, untie a knob right here. So one thing about this tripod is it's very light satchelor. It's kind of like a Chinese knockout satchelor. Uh, affordable, but very professional. Every control is on your left hand. So this is the tilt right here. So I want to pay attention to the leveler right here. So now it's level again. And then this one is pan. So make sure the camera is sit in between two legs. So if you pay attention right here, it's almost gone now, right? So you see right here, this is the pan lock system. Lock it. And then the tilt lock system, lock it. If you come over here, right here, uh, it's a counterweight system right here, have like nine degree. So why now my camera system is actually very heavy. So it's actually used all the way to 10 to really support the system because this is also the max weight. 10, now no, it's 10 already. So the counterweight has to go to 10 because this is almost 10 kilogram system right here. This is not part of the package. This is the Arcus with leveler. So as you see right here, pay attention right here, the screen. Look at the, the level is actually not accurately level and it's, it's a hassle to adjust anything here. That's why we have this system right here to have very accurate geared level control. If I put it like, right, I rotate the camera like that. But I want to make sure that right here. Boom, Y in the middle. And then you can untie this, make sure this is almost level as well. So now see my whole system's level now. So in VR, it's very important to get everything level. Um, so that's why I have this sophisticated heavy duty system with here micro adjustment level with here is it's like a general level leveling system and then get the leg out of the frame you see the leg is out of frame right now even though the system's right here uh see this is kind of like vertical 
compared to the camera system right here, vertical, right, vertical, kind of vertical, uh, and then this legs longer, have a better support because I can have an uneven spreader to really put the string, you should put a step right here, the string right here, uh, again, we have a heavy counter weight system right here with two below, usually you don't need two below battery. This is really cool, this is the ZG Sin. It provide me power for my line, for my, uh, this is the Holy Land, uh, brand new M1 Enhanced. So we have power my display, uh, very bright display as you see, very bright display. Uh, provide my display, transmission, wireless transmission system from the camera to somewhere else, the direct monitor can see it, and then power my camera with a Canon R5C right here with this yellow cable, and then also power my light, my Zhiyun light right here, to power everything. But again, if I need more power, I have a backup battery right here, so I can plug everything right back in here or swap that. Uh, but this is more sort of as a counterweight system uh, to sort of power everything up. So we have a really even counterweight system. This is super solid, it can hold like, this can hold actually like 30 kilogram. Um, 10 kilogram, but 30 kilogram. What if you wanna move it? So as you see right here, grab the handle, move it. So see, I can move it with one hand. It's, it's not that heavy, it's pretty high big, and pretty light. Well, it's not too light. Uh, I'll put a number right here, how heavy the whole system is. Uh, but just the leg itself is about six uh, kg. Uh, so I can, it's, it's carbon fiber. So it's, it's pretty light compared to other brand of tripod system, which is aluminum and, and other like metal piece. Uh, so this can be a travel friendly, but it's super solid. Uh, the leg right here also have this spy system. So okay, you can nail to the ground if you go filming outside, outdoor, uh, like in a desert or something, you can nail this to the ground. Uh, this is just like the statular setup. So the whole system is solid. I want my system to be like self-contained, convenient. I don't need the AC to run it. I can just grab it and go and film. It's really fast, run and gun documentary VR one of this style. And also very solid, like it's not gonna go anywhere. Like this thing is not gonna go anywhere. And I just need to extend that far, like the other system right here, extend really far to get the leg out of the system. This does not require that because of this section right here. This is the, basically the key why I actually got this system is this center spy system. But there is another way to actually film it. So now I'm just gonna like level up back up again, level the whole system again. Look at that. Now it can be a super narrow, still solid. Look at that, still solid. You can move around, but it's because of this system right here. So this system is very stable. So now, again, you don't see a leg anymore. Look, you see, let me just film it and show you. So see that? I, I don't see the leg again anymore, but this is a level system, right? This is fully level system. I just like uh, make the, the footprint, the leg small, but like model part. So this is like, can turn into a model part if I need to, and still super solid, right? So I can feel like that. I pan it, go. Now, now I can like fully pan, right? I don't need to like find the middle point of the two type of leg. I can just pan it in any direction I want and start filming. So this video file travel from United also have the one touch high adjustment. Let me show you right now. Right here. Grab the handle, rise up. Rise up, as high as can go. Right here, uh, stuck. Nani? Oh shit. So, so you see right here, this thing sometimes will just snap and get out. When it get out, the whole system will stuck. So here is kind of like a not such a good design right here. Uh, as you see right, now, uh, right there, this is this pop out and then whole system is just can't collapse anymore. Uh, you can usually pop back in, it still work. Uh, but this one I design for right here is, is this joint. A joint is not as sturdy as, uh, as it could be. Okay, so let's demo the one step high adjustment right here. I'm tied here, I'm tied here, and I'm tied here. Grab, hand grab right here. Go up. Look at that, so how, how convenient is that, right? And then lock it, lock it, and lock it. Boom. So one thing about the one high adjustment of, of the United Steel tripod right here is, compared to right here, look at that. This is the YC onion. YC onion, the handle is always right here. So always, I don't need to like go down and do stuff like this, right? I can just like that. That is always on top, reachable. So this one is, again, you pay what you get, right? This is all, a lot more convenient. It's always right here. Like I just hide right here and you see, this thing is not like stuck right here. It's usually right here. 
So sometimes it's just hard to adjust level. Look at that, these things go, right? But it's, you can control where it go and you should just stay right here. So yeah, so that's one of the drawbacks of this tripod system right now. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it has the one touch high adjustment, but the high, sometimes if it's like, let, let, me, let me show you, if I like put it down, right? So right here, I need to like bend down, I will bend down and tie this up right now, right? It still hurt my back. I mean, we've done a couple thousand times. It's no fun. This thing, I never need to bend down, I just stand right here and tie it even to the one hand. Uh, but sometimes this thing also like stuck right here. Just this also have problem, right? You guys see how got stuck? So you can't like, you know, facilitate it. Uh, but at least I don't need to bend down. So it's always right here. And such a system as well, it's always right here. Here have a resistant dampening system right here. So in zero is nothing. So if I untie, pen control, it's very smooth with that. It's very smooth. You can flip it like that. Don't ever do that, but just for showcase, kind of look cool. Uh, but then you get, maybe it's level five. Now engage, looks very smooth pen. Very smooth pen. Five, probably three. So it have like six steps of dampening system right here. So you can have very smooth panning for long shot. Again, I don't use it for VR, uh, but for 2D shot, that is a very convenient feature that you have it there. Also you have it there. So see right here, you also have it on two control. So now it's at four. So look at that, have resistance. Actually take me some strength to move it around. But if you go on one, no resistance. This thing just drop right there. And I think I do lie about the YC onion and also the small rig is on their play, they including an Allen wrench for you built into the play. So if you forgot, most of the time I forgot Allen wrench to tie the play into the camera, I have that just right here. We don't have that in the system. Again, you pay what you get, right? Uh, but so that is why, if you see right here, I custom make a bunch of accessories right here. Right here, see right here? Uh, have the Allen wrench, also have this to get regular play and the small one for adjusting smaller play, uh, losing screw uh, on the travel system, so I adjust that right there. And then I just, using a little cell phone system, clip it in right here. It's always with me, so I have all the tools with me. I don't need to go ask my AC to grab me some tool to just want to like tighten some gear and adjust system, so it's very convenient. So for those of you who know me, you know I love customize my gear. So even though the United States Video 5 tripod is great, but I just turn it into an even lighter way. See, super light, fully carbon fiber, super dead accurate, lightweight travel setup. So I can just go in and out like this. Just, just tight. See, I can just go in and out like this, lock it. And with one single camera setup, I'm ready to feel. So let me break it down. What is this setup right now? So right here, we have the, obviously, can I see with the running system right here? Standard, standard setup, right? In here, I have the Arca Swift level head, so I can level like that. It's, it's that accurate, all angle fully leveler, right here, as you see. And then also have a really great pen tilt system right here, boom, right there. So here's even crazier. So here is a quick release. I can pop this thing up and then put it right back down. Boom, quick release system, and here, is actually the YC onion, onion coconut head. I can untie right here if you, you see it right here. It's a bubbler right here, screw, so I can do general leveling. So I can level from here or from here to, to bubbler right here, lock it. So I can fast general level and micro adjustment level system right here to get the perfect shot super fast for VR one and Live setup. And again, this whole benefit of the support system and super fast super compact VR warranty system. But it doesn't just stop there. This is a great tripod, but the heaviest part of the United tripod is not the tripod itself, it's the ball head right here. They use a professional gray video ball head and really great for cinema camera, heavy camera, somewhat 10 kg uh, with all this counterweight system right here. But this is heavy for VR 180 or 260 video. We don't need this. So we basically take it out. Let me actually break this thing down for you so you can take a look. So this is just my really tiny YC onion 
coconut head. This is my favorite 75 millimeter bow, bow head. Uh, you can mount into any standard bow head system. This thing, their base is actually heavier than this one. I have no idea why, what material this makes this so much heavier than just a standard United Z system. But this is actually more stable because this half has also the center column right here. It's a half center column. So I don't know why. So instead of using this one, I'm using this one. And I put the tiny head right here, the super tiny head right here, just on the standard bow head. This is the quick release right here. Uh, this is uh, by uh, eye footage, this is an eye footage right here. Eye footage quick release system, really cool because if you see across up right here, you have the 1, 4, and 3, 8 in the change system, so I can mount in literally anything on this quick release head. And also highly recommend it. I just buy gear from different brands, put them together, right? So this thing also, uh, if you actually see it, uh, they have a screw system right here, can I nail on the head right here, see, already scratched, kind of a little bit scratched right here, because I put the system right here to really mount this on this bow head, so it's not going anywhere. And now I'm gonna show you my 3D 360 setup right here. So here is actually part of my YC Onion model part is the top section part. Here, it just stands the 3A. I thread it into the quick release head right here. Boom. And then I'll just slap it in. Boom, quick release. It's not going anywhere. Here, I just level. Easy. And now, it's the cool part. Here is the install. You see Titan right here. Here is 3A thread. It's quick release right here. I'll pop this out. I can do it with one hand. I don't need an assistant right here. So this thing, it's just a dentist 3A, but also 1.4 as well, so it's like multi-use. I can put a 1RS, but usually I put a Titan on it because this is a heavy system. So I can heavy support a super heavy camera. This is a heavy camera, by the way. So just go in, lock it. Boom. And now we have a very lightweight, very lightweight. See, I can hold it one hand. Very lightweight VR system. So if I don't go high, easy now, right? Just make sure that everything's tight, right? Quick release, boom, boom, boom. Grab the handle, go up. As high as you can go, right? Lock it. See, I don't need an assistant. You should have a system though, but I can do it by just me, by myself. Boom, boom. Lock it. Just, just look how high it's go. It's pretty high. Let me just make sure that the legs fully really spread. You see it right here. Again, if you need more stability, extend this. You can extend it wider, but I want the highest I can get. So look at that. From the leg, all the way pan, to the top. It's higher than me. Pretty cool. Again, if you want to go higher, you can get a longer pole. You can go on the Noido Ninja super tall pole, right? Put it even higher, just 3A to 3A. You can shoot even higher, super to the ceiling, if you want, because this is a super solid platform. It's not gonna go anywhere. And it's really safe, and so that is what I suggest if you wanna film 3D 360 with a heavy base camera. This system is solid, it's light, solid, fully carbon fiber, and it's easy to just level, and level right here. I just level right here, you can see it. So yeah, hopefully this customized setup will inspire you. Finally, the thing I love about Unite Z is the whole legs will fit into your regular luggage. You don't need to carry an extra oversized Peloton case just for your tripod. Travel with Peloton case internationally will require carnet and you'll be targeted by thieves. It's just more expensive and very unnecessary. Thank you for watching this in-depth review of the U90 Video Fast Tripod and how I modify it to tailor my shooting style. I have my entire build guide and gear list in the description down below. In the next tutorial, I'll teach you how to capture 3D 360 immersive photo for Apple Vision Pro environment with this exact setup. So head over there and put what you just learned into practice.